Hey everyone, how's it going? In today's video, I want to show you guys how to draw a zebra shark. Now, to start with our zebra shark, we're going to begin with the head. So we're going to start over here, and I'm just going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up, and then it's just going to kind of go out like this. Then, starting right here, I'm going to just draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, and it's just going to kind of curve around to here. Then, starting right here, we want to make the little fin. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve down, kind of like a long stretched out S. And then it's just going to kind of curve up and get really close to this line right here. Then, starting here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to kind of curve. And then I'm going to add another little kind of like V-shape right here for another fin. And then I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to kind of go down. And then it's going to kind of curve up like this. Then, starting right here, I'm going to draw a line that's going to curve like this. Then, right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go up and then down for that little famous shark fin. Then, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go down and it's going to get a little bit skinnier as it gets closer towards the tail. And then, I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of curve up and then it's going to come back down to here. Now, starting right here, I'm going to draw a little line that's just going to go down and then up for a little fin. And then right here, I'm going to make a line that's going to go down and then it's going to kind of curve back up to here. Then at the top of the tail, I'm going to make a little line that's going to go out and then come in for kind of like this little notch that they have. Now, starting right here, pretty close to the eye, or to the mouth, I should say, I'm going to draw a little circle shape that I'm just going to color most of it in for the eye. And then I'm going to add a little line or a little dot right there for the nose. Now, down the body here, I'm just going to draw a little kind of broken line like this, just for some detail on our shark. And then right here, I'm going to add a little line that's just going to kind of curve down just to kind of show where the gills are. And then I'm going to add another one right there. Okay. Now, for the final part of our zebra shark, we want to add some of their little stripes and spots. Now, they mostly have a lot of spots on them, but we're going to kind of add a few little stripes in there with them. So, kind of starting by the head, I'm just going to make a couple little lines that just kind of go down and then back up, and I'm going to kind of keep those nice and dark. And then I'm going to add a couple more just kind of going down. And I'm going to do this going all the way down the body of the shark. So just these kind of like little thin stripes that are just going all the way down the body. So I'm just going to kind of add them all the way down. Okay, once you have all of your stripes on here, then you want to start adding the spots. And I know they call it a zebra shark, but it does have lots and lots of spots on it. So that's how we kind of added these little stripes in there. So to make the spots, you're just going to want to make 
some little dots like this that are just colored in and you want to make them like different sizes and just kind of put them all over the place. So I'm going to, when I draw these, I'm going to leave them on here and I'm going to kind of not put any dots in between these stripes. So when I put my dots on here, I'm just going to leave the area in between the stripes just plain white. So I'm just going to kind of fill in this whole thing with all these little dots and I'm going to fast forward this part just because there are going to be a lot of little dots on here. So I'm going to fast forward this part really quickly. Okay, and there you go. There is all of the spots on there. Those are a lot of spots, and the trick is just to help make it look a little more realistic is you want to add like big ones and small ones and all different sizes. But there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.